Hi, this is Manny with Classic Auto Repair. Today we're looking at a 1971 Oldsmobile Cutlass. It has um, been in for uh, air conditioning upgrade. Uh, we uh, we installed a um, climate control system with heat and air. Put our uh, unit up underneath the dash like we always do. Cap off all the fresh air ducts. And we utilize the uh, the billet aluminum um, control head. These do light up, as you can see here, with the headlight system. And they control all the uh, functions for the heat and air conditioning. It's got a really nice blow on it. Air comes out of the uh, factory ducts on the dash on all, uh, all ports. So you have one on each side, the one in the middle and the one on the driver's side. That noise you hear is the uh, electric fan kicking on. It, uh, it comes on with the clutch of the air compressor to keep the condenser cool. Uh, it also, um, it comes on with a temperature probe that is installed in the uh, radiator right here. And this allows for monitoring of the uh, cooling system and if there's a situation where the temperature exceeds the threshold on the computer module which i mounted up in here it uh, turns on the electric fan whether or not uh, well with the air conditioning turned off so in the summertime you're running with the top down and you um, you start to get uh, over 160 degrees, the uh, fan will kick on for the electric fan to assist the engine fan, which is located up in here. Made some modifications to the radiator plate to hold the larger capacity four row aluminum radiator that we installed. This is a much more efficient radiator and it's gonna cool the system much better in Texas. We installed the upgraded sand in compressor with the uh, polished aluminum case and uh, we utilized a bracket system that's offered by one of our vendors that bolts directly onto the engine here's the um, heater control valve this is what controls the heat inside of the car it's run by wires there are no cables on these new systems they're just like uh, modern cars they use servo motors to turn the different uh, flappers for the defrost dash or floor uh, ducting, and it controls the uh, heater valve here as well. All the hoses are replaced with new. These are heater hoses, and these are the custom-made air conditioning lines that I make myself and install. Notice we didn't make any modifications to the original firewall. We don't cut anything. We adapt to the holes that are already in the firewall from prior uh, installations of air conditioning or the heater and we can get access from those for our lines that come through from the evaporator. Up front here is the accumulator. This is the filter that takes out the moisture and uh, particles from the air conditioning system and uh, keeps everything clean and working correctly there. Now basically, this is a, a, a finished installation, what it looks like. Don't know if we can see up underneath the uh, front of the car here, but let's see if I can get under here. This is the location of the uh, electric fan. No, it's kind of hard to see there, but there's a uh, electric fan located here, and uh, that's in front of the radiator and the condenser, uh, which uh, cools the Freon. So anyway, that's a 71 Cutlass and what it looks like with a new air conditioning and heating system installed. Thanks for watching. This is Manny with Classic Auto Repair.